the matrix I perceive as real. The matrix I perceive as real. It is real and it is real. It's real and it is real. Hey creators, welcome. So in this monthly series, I'll be talking about Full Moon in Libra, which is happening on March 28th at around almost like midnight, 10 to midnight in the Pacific time. And if you're located in Northern or Southern America, it's not going to be up in the sky, but it w its impacts will still tangible. And if you live in a different part of the world, you can look it up online to see if the full moon, it will be visible in your area. So as you can see here in the chart, there are interesting stuff going on as always. And I'm going to break into three parts in this video. First and foremost, you can see the grand triangle among Saturn, Mars, and the Moon. Second is the placement of Venus. And third is the number eight, which I will get to later. So speaking of the triangle, Saturn and Mars are having a trine aspect. In the last few months, there has been a harsh aspect between Saturn and Mars, and it's been pretty intense. And now we are, we as a collective are feeling more ease when it comes to taking action and the relationship with the authority figures. It could be about your inner authority as well. Overall, we would feel much less tension or resistance uh, in regards to taking new risks or starting something new. And, and things are getting stabilized your actions, uh, we can take more regulated, self-controlled actions for our growth. And Mars and North Node together in the sign of Gemini, this means that we would be motivated to explore and learn new stuff and we can be better performing at multitasking than just focusing one thing at a time. Overall, we could be mentally very active and this will actually help us bring more stability into certain areas of our life. And if you want to learn more details, you can look it up on your chart to see in which house you have Aquarius is located. Also, you can check out my 12 zodiac vocabs with more than 1400 words to learn astrology and Basically, these are corresponding words for each zodiac sign and planets. So check it out if you guys are interested and the link is below in description. Having Moon and Saturn have an easy aspect to each other, we can feel much more grounded, emotionally stable, and again, uh, both of these planets are in air signs and air is the mind, intellectuals. So we can see things more objectively and not really taking things too personally. It would be a really great time to be involved in social activities, making new friends or making business deals as well, depending on your situation. And let's find out what it is. Um, Overall, we would feel more motivated to bringing peace to the situations we are dealing with. Because Libra is all about harmony, peace, mutual cooperation, collaboration. So with this full moon, we are re-evaluating the balance in our life. This could be about work-life balance or uh, having um, or setting a healthy boundaries in interpersonal connections. It could mean a different things. It could be about the balance between your income and spending expenses or individuality and the mutual interest or group objective or group purpose or group's interest. So this full moon is aspecting five different planets so in other words in other words your emotions are going to be significant so as always you need to turn within and listen to your inner voice um, and especially pay attention to the words 
that make you feel more calm and peaceful. If you want to build something in your life, particularly during this period of time, you need to be emotionally invested in your goals. So it's not just about the public duty and a sense of obligation. You need to be personally invested in your long-term visions. In this way, you can better take action without hesitation and make a lot of accomplishments. Every full moon is a turning point. If you have been following me for a while, you know that every full moon is an opportunity to release whatever that doesn't serve you anymore. And this has a lot to do with a sense of balance and equality. So one thing you can do is just journal and evaluate the different areas of your life and see where you think you need more balance and calm atmosphere. With trying aspects from Saturn and Mars, adjusting your habits and the way you direct your willpower is going to help you improve the level of emotional fulfillment, which means you can be happier when you adjust your habits, routines, and, and Mars also represents your physical strength and passion. So through learning something that you find it passionate, you can create a healthier and happier life. Okay, so let's go on to the next point, Venus placement. So Venus is exactly aligned with the sun in Aries, opposing this opposing the full moon in Libra. So this is a very interesting position because when a planet is right next to the sun, we can't see it. It is invisible because of the sunlight. And when this happens, it's like the planet is getting reborn again. And collectively speaking, we are using our personal joy, pleasure, relationship, and even finance for our career, public image. Uh, so in other words, it's not a really good idea to indulge yourself at this particular period of time because you can use this Venusian energy for your career or your public status much more effectively. And you also find it easier to recognize what it is you are truly resonating with and your personal desire and your beauty, something that stands out in the crowd. So for example, if you have been kind of insecure about yourself and not really uh, knowing your true worth, this is a time to investigate it and you can use your charms in some kind of public arena. Venus is also having an easy aspect with Saturn. So this can indicate that we can, uh, we would like to take things slowly and, uh, and in this way we can uh, build something more durable and when you make an important decision you'll be better off by considering sustainability uh, longevity durability and structure so so for example get rich quick scheme would be a totally opposite one and aquarius is one of the most humane signs so as we focus more on the entire humanity an ecosystem, our planet, and anything that is overseeing the individual member or parts of whatever that is, we can really enjoy the process of accomplishing anything and naturally this will increase the level of personal satisfaction as well. And going on to the last point, I found it very interesting. Um, there are four planets located at the 8th degree which is the degree of Scorpio. So number eight is Scorpio. And as you can see here, Sun, Venus, Moon, and Uranus. All these planets are at the eighth degree of different signs. So there is a big emphasis on transformation. You know, the real changes start from the subconsciousness. 
So Venus in the 8th degree just shows that we are drawn to make some real changes on a various scale. No matter how trivial the change look like, every change is a total change. You need to understand that. So even if you make a small change in your life, this can create a huge impact in the end, especially with the aspect from Saturn. So on a personal level, your value systems may be changing pretty radically, but as you start implementing a little baby steps to sustain and maintain your new value systems, you're going to accomplish a lot of personal growth. And on top of that, your relationship with yourself is the crucial, is more important than any other thing. So that being said, the way you perceive yourself, the way you estimate, appreciate yourself would be changing. And again, this could be triggered by your new, relatively new passion or interest. So be aware of what's happening within yourself because we all have built-in emotional guidance system that always shows our personal North Star. So I hope this information is helpful and let me know how you resonated with that and I'll see you in the next one. Happy full moon! Bye!